Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a separate total column from other columns. So for example, let's say you have a stack column here and you want to create something where there's some extra space between your stack columns here and the total column there. Well, this is actually super easy and this video shouldn't take too long. So let me go into my example here. Let's say that I have my range of data here and I'll insert a stack column. Just go under the insert tab, go to there, the 2D column and click on stacked column. Right, so I have this column here, and, and you might think, oh, maybe I need to do something to in, in the chart to extend the space out here, but it, it's really not that hard. So I'm just going to delete that. And what all you need to do is just create a space between uh, the data, the source data here. So I'll just Control X to copy that. I select it, Control X to copy it, and I'm going to put it over here, Control V to paste. And you see, once that's done, it's created the space. And that's all you really needed to do because Excel is actually pretty smart enough to figure out if I go into the, um, the select data, Excel is actually pretty smart enough to realize that uh, you've moved that range of data out and it's taken that and moved it from column A to J. Well, it was column A to G, but it's moved, them, moved it to column J. So that's actually what it's done. So you can see that the chart area here, the plot area here has extended out because you've, we've moved the data out. So that's the way that we can separate a total column from the rest of our data in a stack column chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.